Okay, we are now back to part two of creating a project on uh, project.com, a new presentation website. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, free account. I'm going to go right ahead and create a new account or create a new project. Sorry, I'm going to name this uh, book cover assignment. And you can put a description in. I'm just going to sort of put that in and tags in. Um, you can put a tag in for the school. I could spell it right and hit create and now you can see again it's a very simple interface we, we were pretty much just shown this right here uh, on uh, adding our content so I'm gonna click uh, add content here now you can add a document images uh, titles text or uh, content from any of these sites here, from Twitter, Facebook, RSS feeds. And this is where you get this interaction that's always growing. If you put an RSS feed in from a site, that's current. It's always up to date if someone was looking at this presentation. Same thing with Twitter and Facebook. Flickr images, Vimeo, all these sites. Now, I'm going to go right ahead and uh, start with an image. Now, I can name the image or I can just put an image in and browse. And I'm going to use one of Chip Kid's images, I think. Um, I'll, I'll use this one right here. And again, I can put in uh, a name up here if I want for it. Um, I'm just going to put in cover. And I'm going to hit create. Slides were added. Now you can see our first slides right here. Here's something you need to remember to do is turn them on. Or they won't show up when you go to view your, your work. So here's my cover. Now I'm going to add some more content. Uh, here I think I'm just going to add uh, text or a title, let's say. And I'm going to call this um, book cover assignment. I'm going to have it centered. I'm not going to put a background image. And I'm going to hit OK. Book cover assignment. Now here's something really neat that you can do. Is you can put a stack inside your presentation. So instead of it going slide one, two, three, four, you could have it go slide one, two, and in the third slide you can have a stack which is then another presentation underneath or inside that stack. So if I hit create a new stack, I could start it with a, a title and I can call it um, student work. Hit create. It wants another title down here. Copy and paste. Okay, so now here's a, a another a stack or a presentation within a presentation right here and you can see it's got a little tab by it um, If I, and it says open stack. Now if I click on this I'm deeper into the stack. I'm inside this. It's sort of like a book inside a book. And now I would come in here, I would go to images, browse, I'm going to go to back to my folder here that I've been putting together. You can select all of them at one time. Hit open. It was all the student work. Hit create and it's going to bring all of those uh, examples in of student work. It might take a few minutes. It depends on the size of your files. Uh, as you can see it's uploading. It's taking a little bit of time. And once these files are in now we'll have a stack of student work. Now remember you have to turn all these on but they have a neat little thing here where you can select all right up here and then say publish on. Now those are all on. Now to get back to your main project because we're now we're inside another project you just click on this little guy up here because now you're in that folder and you go back to the main book cover assignment. Now you've got uh, a cover uh, a title page and some student work. We're going to go ahead and view that. And to do that, you just come down here and actually, let me not forget, turn those on and click View Project. And now I can go ahead and view these by just clicking. Now this says there's more inside, so if I click on that, it opens this up, and now I can see student work. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and uh, do a third video where we're going to put some more interactive things in the video or the presentation like video and RSS feeds and things like that.